Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to talk about something that's simple today. Test leads on a uh, meter. Uh, typical banana jack test leads. Uh, like these guys right here that we use on our fluke. These leads are uh, kind of expensive, uh, I guess. And you know, from time to time they will go bad and you will have to replace them. The typical style of lead, at least on this, uh, the banana jack on this is a, is a 90 degree. And on the other side is a straight, well, this one's a little crooked, but uh, there's a straight one, okay? See these leads, every time you use your meter, as any of you guys probably know, you should test the leads to make sure they're not open uh, put it, put your meter on ohms if you want to test them. Put the leads together, and <laughs> this one is not in. Uh, well, actually, I don't think it's the lead on this. I think it's actually my end that I threw on here. It's not too good. Well, maybe not the best, huh? In any case, these leads are due to be replaced. Uh, I stopped buying test leads because I can custom make my own and so can you. There's no need to buy these things anymore. If you want to make the same length lead, you can simply take this and this is exactly the same wire. This is a high quality uh, silicone wire and they come in 50 foot or 25 foot spools, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use what's left on this one. Take my cutters. I'm gonna, this side is even. I'm just going to run these down cut off the excess on this one side, all right? And I'm going to have leads that are virtually, let's see if I can, they're, they're just a touch, maybe two inches shorter uh, than, the, than the originals. All right, excuse the noise in the background. What I wanna show you guys is this, okay? These are, the, um, the jacks that I'm gonna use for this vehicle, wow, for this, uh, for this lead, rather. Okay, these two, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna open this up, show you what we got. These are kits, and they're good quality. I've never had any issues with them. I've used them for a while now to make my own stuff. And you build them yourself, okay? You're gonna solder the wire into here uh, you're going to put this together, run the wire through, okay, and snap this in, and you're going to have your 90 degree for the fluke side, for the, for the meter side. You can use straight leads, and I'm going to get my fluke out of the way here, because we're not going to need this. And um, excuse the noise in the background, but uh, we're going to take our new leads here. We're going to strip a piece of the end off, both sides. And obviously they're color coded. You can buy them that way. You can buy different colors if you'd like. It's, uh, it's really all preference. I'm gonna put this through. Don't forget to put that through before you start soldering anything. Okay. 
and then this side is just going to simply go in here. Like this. Okay. And get my little helper here. Optional, of course. Little flux. See if I can find my uh, micro torch. You could use a soldering iron for this or a, or a micro torch. It's really up to you. I'm going to get a little heat in this thing. And I'm going to feed my solder. Obviously, you want to make sure you have a good solder joint here. Because any bad connections on leads are going to be a problem, obviously. And you just want to fill that little crevice, as you can see here. You just want to kind of fill this up. I try to keep this level so that uh, I get a good joint. Make sure the solder flows in and then let it cool down for a couple of moments. And you can do the other side. Same thing, you're gonna, you're gonna just run, let me back this off a little, you're gonna run this through the one. You're gonna run it through the other one. Give up. After you've passed the wire through this uh, front terminal. I just like to just like to kind of give the wire a little twist here. And then once again run this through until it's all the way in. Try to keep it Somewhat level. Edge of flux. Just a couple drops is really all you need. <clears throat> and warm it up. You are better off using a solder gun here than this. I'm just doing this more for demonstration. Because, you know, it is uh, quicker, obviously, with the micro torch. But, uh, Using solder, you don't, you know, solder, uh, a soldering gun will work very well. And make sure you feed the solder in until it flows. Make sure it flows well and you get a good joint. And these will be fully functional. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying that using a solder gun is more controllable if you're not as uh, experienced doing this stuff. So just a recommendation. It's really up to you. Okay, so this guy, this guy is nice and tight and straight. I'm gonna let that cool off a moment. This one here is already cool to the touch. Okay, I do, you do not want to melt the plastic, obviously. So that is where you will run into an issue. And then you want to push these up into the connector. And once they're in straight, they will go relatively easy. I like to Sometimes grab a little something here that I could work off of and push. And they'll snap right in like that, okay? Then you take your other side, your backing rather of the 90 degree. And all you have to do at that point is Line it up, there are, there are snap clips here. Push it in, and there is your new lead. And uh, it's always smart to test to make sure that uh, to make sure you're in good shape. Okay, push it in nice and tight, nice tight fit, and that's one side done. 
Now, as for the other side, the, the side that you're going to put a probe into, well, that's really up to you. There's a lot of, there's straight ends that you can buy, which I think I ran out of uh, making some other tools. There's, uh, there's a few different options, obviously, for that. You could do a 90 on that one if you wanted to as well. What I'm opting to do, because <clears throat> I really like these ends, is I'm using the connector's style that is uh, similar to what comes, or actually the same as what comes on the Pico, and that is this type of end. These are the ends for this. They come with a longer straight, all right? And the way these work, similar, you have to keep yourself uh, oriented here, obviously. You're gonna put, if you look here, you're gonna have the banana jack side where the other lead could piggyback, and then you're gonna have the feed side where the wire will go through, okay? You pop the wire through, give yourself a little lead this way. And this one works a little different. Okay, so this side works a bit different. If you look, there's a flat and a, uh, and a non-flat side, okay? What I do is I run this through this way because what has to happen is this has to come up and sit in here this way, all right? So I use the, the fingers here to help me. And this will run straight through, as you see here. I want to run that through. I like to keep it sideways when I do this. Put some flux in there. And what I try to focus on is the back side, if I can. This way. And feed it. To get it warm enough. It will feed right in to the hole. Make sure you have no solder around the sides because that will hinder your ability to um, to put it into the connector, okay? But again, soldering gun, you have much more control than this. I'm doing this quickly for demonstration purposes. Uh, make sure you have a good joint and again, let it cool down. That's important. You can start on the other side as that's cooling. So you do the same on this side. Uh, remember, small hole, that's where it feeds through. And see, unlike the other ones, you do not put the, uh, the terminal through, obviously, the other, the other the front side of the terminal. So it just, it's kind of common sense. I mean, uh, order of operations here, right? This is cooled down already. So what you can do is you take this guy, push it all the way in. All right. So you'll take your, uh, you'll see inside here that you have the back of the banana jack in, butted up against the, uh, the top. This here, you're going to push into and these are tough to put in, okay? This, the, they're gonna, you're gonna push this in until it clicks. And they're, they're a little tight, but that's the way you want them, right? You want them tight. And then you can do the same thing. You can check and verify that you have a positive connection here. You can take the back lead and you can piggyback it right in. 
and as you can see, uh, maybe you can see, there you go. Now you can see, it's all nice and snug, right? And that's that, and there's your one lead finished. And they, you can, if you wanna do some fancy stuff, you can put this stuff here, this wrap around it, you know, before you finish it, obviously, but I'm opting not to use that right now on this lead because this is gonna be for my meter. So we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Now I just gotta finish this guy up and I'll show you one more time here. Just do not make the mistake of putting this through the back hole because it's gonna take away from what the lead does. Okay, if you do that. Um, we'll do the same thing. Get us some, uh, The reason I try to hold these sideways also is so that it helps to not have the, the solder run out of the bottom hole, all right, as you're soldering. Because if that happens, uh, that's really not what you want. Because then you're gonna have a whole really hard time trying to put this in, or you're gonna have to, you're gonna spend some time cleaning it up, which you could avoid by doing this, okay? And take your time the first couple there's uh there's really they're not hard to do there's no need to rush it though it's uh simple enough I can fill this a little more. Uh, there is a good positive connection here. I'm not real worried about it. I've made these for a couple of years now, I guess. I've, I've done uh, my own leads on a lot of stuff and I've not had one break or fail at a solder joint. Uh, had one fail when I closed into the door. That's uh, nature of the beast. Don't close them in doors. Same thing here, we're gonna push this through nice, right? And we're gonna to try to keep the, the wire centered inside there. Now we're gonna push this in, line her up, and push. All right, and if you look, you have a nice positive connection. We'll grab a new terminal. That's better. And this is something you need to be aware of as well. I wanna show you. This alligator clip is dirty, filthy, used, old. Watch the uh, resistance. That's on a clean spot. See it? See how it changes? Now it's good there. Good there, and good there. So one side of the jaw has good uh, continuity. The other side of the jaw here is hit or miss. Okay. So this, term, this, this alligator clip will be going in the trash. All right. So just be careful of uh, old, old stuff. And I could probably clean this up and it'll be fine. I'll throw it in some CLR for a while, but if not, I'll toss it in the garbage if it doesn't pass tests the way I want it to. In any case, these are your new leads for the, these are my new leads rather for the fluke. You could have your own if you go and uh, buy yourself a set of connectors a spool of wire. This wire here is 16 gauge for anybody who's curious. No, I'm sorry, this is 14 gauge. You can buy this in um, 18, 16, a whole bunch of different gauges that they offer. They're available on Amazon. You can check it out in my link uh, in the description. All of this stuff is actually available 
on Amazon, all these connections and different ones as well. Street type without the uh, piggybacks on them, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. So uh, I was just thinking it may help somebody out there to save a few bucks, make your own leads. You can make custom lead sizes, obviously lengths, types, uh, whatever you want. And I think, uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a big advantage over the store-bought or you know, pre-built leads that you can get for obvious reasons. You have a lot more versatility with this, with this style. And um, these are home now on the new flu on the uh, fluke. So we'll wrap this up. And all of the test leads we will dispose of. All right, so I hope that helps somebody. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that um, you get a lot of years of use out of doing this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.